Hey guys, Pete from Mixcat. Today we're going to make some spicy chicken legs with some zucchini, yellow squash, and mu mushrooms as a side. Uh, this is quite a spicy meal. Um, doing a lot of chilies, garlic, lots of different stuff that goes into the sauce, and I'll show you how that works. All right, for the base of this sauce, and this is a very fast sauce to make, we use this stuff called Scorn Woman wicked wing sauce and it really is some good sauce but it was a little bit on the light side pretends to be hot but it's not and if you don't like it hot maybe this was fine on its own but we had to kick it up a couple notches other thing we added in was uh, some jerk seasoning gotta have that Jamaican jerk sauce just great stuff combine the two I actually put a little bit of molasses in it too to sweeten it up and make it a little bit darker uh, with chilies we blended up some chilies and put some garlic and you'll see it's pretty thick stuff. That's what we're going to use for the chicken legs. Got these over at the produce store. An awesome place. Uh, all these chicken legs, two bucks. You can't beat that. You're talking about a whole meal here for about four bucks total. Feed uh, at least four people. So very economical. Definitely in these times a, a great thing. Okay, first thing we're going to do here is chop up some of these zucchinis and yellow squash. I'm going to do this into quarter medallions. Um, this is going to go into a pan with garlic, oil, and we're going to herb it up. Alright, just cutting these guys up. Doing it about quarter size like that. We're just going to lay them uh, on the bottom here. We're going to put the herbs on top. Olive oil, some garlic, basil, and uh, red pepper. Alright, got the uh, squash all cubed up. I'm going to put some mushrooms on top, and I'm going to put a little bit of herbs and spices, salt, pepper, all that good stuff, with a little bit of olive oil and the zucchini on top. All right, we're going to start off with some olive oil. Hopefully this comes out good. This is my first cooking video with this new camera. Hopefully uh, you can see what I'm doing a little bit better. All right, and just kind of coat it on the top here with the olive oil. Gotta use good olive oil. Here's some black pepper. A little bit of garlic powder. And I'm actually gonna cube up a little bit of uh, fresh garlic and put that on there too. But the powder is good too. Powder, we got a little bit of uh, Romano cheese grated right, right over the top there. And next is breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs right over the top. All right. That looks good. All right, we got five cloves of already peeled garlic. I just pulled the uh, the tops off of them. Put them up real quick here. All right, and that's going to go right there over top. Can't have enough garlic. Makes everything better. Cheese too, for that matter. Garlic and cheese, can't beat it. That and peppers. We like food. There we go. I can't say enough good things about coffee grinds. We actually put our coffee grinds in the plants in the front, and the basil is incredible. The rosemary, I mean, it's, it's huge out there. Those guys are almost tree size, it's insane. But yeah, coffee's great for that, and uh, having your own fresh herbs definitely a, a great thing. I'm gonna chop that up and put it on the top. That goes right on top. There we are. Some of that rosemary. That's gonna really complement that olive oil nicely and the grated cheese and and breadcrumbs and smoky paprika with uh, chipotle really nice stuff uh, you can use red pepper if you don't have this but chipotle is always a really nice rich flavor give life to any of those dishes there we go and being that this is actually in the sauce that's going on the the uh, chicken legs and it's gonna marry together nicely there we go Another good tip to make some really good wings or uh, chicken legs, bamboo, bamboo skewers. This is going to go over the, uh, the pan and it's going to sit like that and suspend it. That way 
everything drips off of it um, and you get that evenly seasoned, nice and well cooked piece of chicken. These guys are a little bit on the, the heavy side, not like a chicken wing. So I'm actually going to, I'll try to do it with one, yeah, I'm going to do two, probably need two, there we are. Alright, just like that. And I do it kind of like a V, so it gives it nice support. Support, can't talk. Right, there's one. And number two. Beautiful. And we'll just keep going like that, and I'm going to put the sauce on top. Alright, we're going to do four legs today. Uh, I have them suspended, as you can see, I can fit my hand under that. So, again, very healthy, all the drippings are going to fall into the pan. We're just going to go ahead and put our sauce on it. I'm not going to put too much because as it's cooking, I'm going to drip a little bit more on it. Probably be better if I had a brush, but I don't have one today, so we're going to do the best we can here. All right. Now I'm actually going to put a little bit of that chipotle uh, flake right on the top. All right make it piping hot. We like it spicy. Beautiful. A little bit of garlic too, maybe. And that's it. This is going to go in the oven with the veggies. Uh, 375, probably about an hour. All right, there they go. Beautiful. And I am going to put a little bit of tin foil on that too. And probably about a half hour, I'll check back with you guys. There we go. Just about there. Probably another 10 minutes. But you can see the, the legs uh, drip down into the pan. And they're nice and evenly cooked. I uh, flipped these over once. But yeah, just about done. Probably another 10 minutes and we'll be back with you. That's cooking with Mixcat.